I'm gonna need you to raise your glass. I don't care what you put in it. Here's the nights that you can't take back. We live hard, but we love to laugh. And we all thought that we'd get rich fast. Hop the plane out for greener grass. Found out the green is cash. Don't compare to the friends at last. So, what are you gonna miss about North Hills when you leave? Well, if there was one thing I would have to miss from North Hills, I guess it would be uh, the atmosphere, I guess. And, you know, the students and the teachers, because everybody here, they have like that little, that little small amount of craziness in them. And that's what makes everything better at the school, I think. Um, the fact that I basically know everybody in my class is also nice. If I went to a public school, I probably wouldn't know everybody but here I know everybody <laughs> <laughs> how long have we known each other um we met in sixth grade but we didn't have like any classes together until like eighth grade and then we started talking more in ninth grade I'm like a part of her family she's like a part of my family she comes over I go over to her house okay. there's too honestly there's too many uh, shoes from but uh Honestly, I'm gonna have to go back to uh, the middle school Texas history trips. Those were like one of the best moments. Like, I, I mean, like the bus rides there were really long, but I feel like we really bonded on those trips. And uh, one of our teachers actually ended up tripping and falling. Not gonna name who, but uh, if you're watching, you know who it is. Definitely, I'm thankful for all the teachers, all the students, all my friends. I want to give a couple shout outs to Nick, Troy, Adriana, Tahib, <laughs> um, Reza, all these people. They just helped me a lot in life. I love them all. Oh, and Nima. Yeah, and Armia and Cassidy. But there's so many people. All right, anyway, bye. Okay, um, Bunch has been my friend for a long time. And something I admire about her is that she's always there for you. It's been good. Um, yeah, Jonathan puts his heart into everything, and he really just like is there. And I don't know. I would say the same thing for you. You're always there for me, even when I'm having down down. Uh, I have. <laughs> I'd have to say the quality about Cassidy Sebastian that makes me most proud to be your friend would be um, how genuine she is with everybody. Uh, she definitely is herself. Um, around everybody that she meets. She's never, she never changes, she's never different. She's always kind and vulnerable and sweet and loving and an amazing friend. Um, the choir that I admire most about Julia, um, that makes me the most proud to be her best friend, I think, would probably be just how much she cares for everyone and how willing she is to just be there for people. Um, and I think that kind of goes, like those two kind of go hand in hand and just her kindness is just so radiant and it makes me want to be a better person and so I'm so thankful that I have someone like Julia to kind of keep me on my toes. So, yeah, she's the best. Actually, you know what? I think I have a better question. Tell me, will you go to prom with me? These two guys is I can be honest and real any day of the week with them. If I'm having a bad day or a good day, I know who to go to for all of my problems, and I love these guys. You know, what I admire about Sean here is Sean and Sean has grown. I've watched Sean grow from this short little sixth grader to this impressively tall 
average guy. And I like how 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 uh, how driven Sean is as a person. And for Aaron Farley, he is so so intelligent and smart. And he makes he he's like a he's a model for me to model my life against sometimes. And I think he's a smart guy. I like this sometimes. dude. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, this, this is the best guy to share a block of cheese with. Gotta say. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, with Sean, I just admire uh, his commitment and just how honest he is with uh, everybody. And with Andrew, uh, I really admire his, his sense of humor and this magnificent hair. Uh, I just, I, I dream of it every day. Bro, all, the there... time, all the times we mess with feet. Bro, sh- <laughs> <laughs> all the JWAC late night events. That that was... <laughs> no, literally, like, we would go to like an event what was our last J Wack event? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, what was it the island guy? Yeah, <laughs> the, the pastry. The guy territory. who would make pastries. I thought he was like an actual travel. That's why I chose the guy. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple. Well, actually, not really. But anyhow, I really like how Angela is always genuinely interested to listen to anything and everything you have to say. Like we talk about the littlest things. Like I have a dentist appointment this Wednesday, and she was like, "Oh, really?" Like. And we have like a really good discussion over it, you know, like we always talk about the little things and she's always down to listen. Uh, What I admire most about Christina is the fact that she's so selfless sometimes. Like she really, she really gives up a lot of herself for everyone else and she's really good with advice and stuff. And sometimes it's kind of weird to give her compliments because she doesn't accept them that well, but I want to use this opportunity to tell her how Great she is as a friend and what a selfless person. Oh. <laughs> I first met Beatrice in eighth grade because that's when she came to the school. And uh, the first thing I said to her is, You're named after a witch from an anime because I was really into anime at the time. And for some reason, she didn't. Uh, freak out and never talk to me again. It actually brought us closer. Um, and the many nights that followed had to do with movie nights, Barbie movies, Disney movies, baked a lot of good stuff like Oreo cupcakes, and um, her family became my family. My family became her family. Uh, it was doing the play this year. Yeah, it was doing the play this year. Damn Yankees. That was just a, a catastrophe of a show. It, I hope I can block that out of my memory. <laughs> Aaron was the only one on the cast who even fem- semi cared about the play. I love I loved that play. It was great. And then because Wait, of I Dan didn't like the people in it. Okay. <laughs> and then because of Damn Yankees. Then math studies class was a lot more fun well, complaining about all the boys. Until you didn't pay attention and then you still did well and I had to ask you for help. And that made me mad because you were on your phone and Miss Soho never got mad at you. I love things. I love you. helping you, Prina. That's but it was great. annoying because I paid I would have paid attention and I was the one who did the homework. See your you friendship. Would just show up. See your friendship based on grades. Right. I think the most memorable one was when he got this um, guy stuck on the roof. Um, I think it was during what? It was during the fall festival in 10th yeah, grade? Yeah, 10th grade. Yeah, in 10th grade. Oh, yeah, then, um, the fun stuff happened. Yeah, I wasn't and, there, but I could tell it was really fun. So, do you have any uh, words of wisdom for the class of 2017? Class of 2017, um, first I want to say that I am going to miss you guys so much. You guys were a tremendous group. I really got a chance to get to know so many of you guys, not just on the college counseling level, but on a personal level. And you guys have so many amazing personalities. Um, We're definitely going to feel your absence once you go away. So we're going to miss you so much. And I want you to know that I am so proud of you guys and all of your accomplishments. And I love you guys dearly. Um, Any words of wisdom? My only words of wisdom is to get out and live. It is okay to change your mind. It is okay to not have it all figured out. It's okay to have some bad moments and some bumps in the road. You just got to pick yourself up and you got to keep going. Um, We will always be here for you. We love you. Reach out, email, don't fall off the face of the earth. We care about how you guys are doing. Um, We're family, we're home, we'll always be here for you, and we love you. Okay, well first, congratulations to the class of 2017 on graduating high school and completing your high school career. Uh, The best piece of advice that I can give is be true to yourself and your identity and beliefs. 
Um, college is gonna be a great experience, whether you're going to college, going into the workforce, going into the military, but just stay true to your beliefs and your identity and get ready for the next journey that life will uh, present you. And always remember that you have a home here at Northwest. Honestly, this will be the same words of wisdom that I gave you as freshmen in high school. As you go into being freshmen in college, you have a whole new you. You get to start over. Set your GPA first. That first year, set a solid GPA. I told you that early. And it'll pay off. And then you'll get to play and enjoy this. This is going to be the time of your life. Make the best of it. Be responsible, but make the best of it. Yeah, um, do your best when you're in college and remember you have fun, uh, but not too much fun. And y'all all been great right here, and I'm looking forward to seeing what y'all do in the future. Hey, class of 2017, my advice to you don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh, don't buy name brand food and use your money on toilet paper. 9 a.m. classes sound like they're really great and it's like, oh my god, I can get up at, at 8.30 and go to class, it's great. They're way earlier than you think they are. Trust me, you think like a miserable you feel in the morning here, it's gonna be your 9 a.m. So if you take a 9 a.m., make sure it's the class you like. And one other thing, it's cheesy, but don't forget where you come from because it's very important. You come from a great culture, you come from a great school, and you need to go wherever you go. You need to show them how awesome you and where you come from is. Congrats. Well, I was gonna quote Dostoevsky, but I decided that my words of wisdom would have to be that I hope you all can be as happy or find the happiness that Mitchell McMullen has in the video game club on Thursdays. Because that is the happiest thing I know. Okay, so mine will be, I have a couple things, but because of timing, I will try to keep it short. Keep your moral compass, keep your community, and don't sacrifice community for leadership because it's lonely at the bottom or at the top as well so if you don't have your people you have nothing while you might be ceo if you don't have a community i'm not sure you have a lot so that's what i leave you with and just be you don't be so critical on yourselves you guys can do it don't burn out like it's you have time you have more time than you think you do you don't have to rush through this thing called life really embrace everything Yes.